It is Indiana in the Morning, presented as always by First Commonwealth Bank. It's WCCS AM 1160 and FM 101.1, 7.46 in the morning. That guy is Nick Ruffner. We remember him very, very well. But it's been a while since we've seen you, Nick. You haven't changed. Oh, I think I've changed. Really? But I, I appreciate the compliment. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's good to see you again. You're worth Sheets now, and you brought someone with you, too. Yeah, so I'm the public relations manager for Sheets. Been there for about a year. And beside me is Cody Rodlin. Cody's our new store opening coordinator. So he opens all of our new stores. We open about 30 new stores every year. And so Cody's involved in organizing all of that, and we go into a community um, Really put on a big celebration, mm -hmm. give away a $1,000 Z card every time. So Cody's involved in all of that, but he's also involved as our uh, event coordinator. And, you know, one of our slogans is fill the love. And so customer appreciation is huge for that. And that's why we're in town today. We're actually at the cafe store location on Wayne Avenue. And we're going to do a little customer appreciation event down there. Yeah. Welcome people between 2 and 5 this afternoon. They can... Stop by, and just for filling out a three-question survey, we're going to give them a personalized T-shirt for that store location, and they're signed up to win sheets for a year. Wow. Man, that's big doings. Cody, you uh, probably get to travel a lot with this job, don't you? Yeah, a lot of travel. Six states. I'm anywhere from PA to North Carolina. Six states? Six states. Now, where do you where do you base yourself so that you can get around to six states? Um, Altoona, PA. Oh, you Of course. Yeah. The corporate home. Yep. So yeah. we actually have about... 564 store locations in six states. Mm -hmm. um, almost 100 will open our 100th store in North Carolina next year. Um, and a lot of people are surprised to know that because you might see a Sheets location out on the road and think, oh, I didn't know Sheets was down this far. But a lot of people are surprised to, to know that we have almost 100 locations in North Carolina yeah. and everywhere in between. Yeah, I always look for the On our way to Myrtle Beach, I always look for the Sheets, one of the North Carolina locations, because I know I'm getting good stuff. I'm getting, The gas I get at Sheets is going to get me there. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like a little taste from home for those of us who have grown up in this area and are, are natives of central and western Pennsylvania. You know, to see that on the road, people look for the red awning. And mm -hmm. so you, you can get off, you can get gas. We, we call ourselves the ultimate one-stop shop, not only because you can get practically anything at Sheets, but also because we're open 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about the event this afternoon. So yeah, I mentioned that you can get uh, signed up to win Sheets for a year. We're calling this our cafe tour um, because Indiana is actually one of four locations that don't have gasoline, and mm -hmm. we call those cafe locations. So last week we were in State College on Pew Street. We have a cafe store location uh, right off of Penn State University. And, of course, we're here near IUP today. Um, next week we're going to be on near the campus of West Virginia University where we have a cafe tour location. And then we're going to wrap it up on November 14th at uh, UVA. Mm -hmm. We just opened a cafe store on near the campus of UVA on uh, September 28th. And so we'll wrap it up there. And so we're going to, you come down, you fill out a three-question survey, you're signed up to win um, sheets for a year, and you get a T-shirt. So that works out to a $6.50 MTO for 365 days a year. That's amazing. So if somebody's going to be eating good <laughs> for the next year, and it could be somebody from Indiana or sure. a student at IUP. Sure. Well, that's one of the interesting things about the cafe stores is uh, they're deliberately located next to universities within that university community because that is really a unique customer mm -hmm. uh, for Sheets. Uh, and the fact that you went to the great big schools and then IUP, which isn't considered a big school, but then when you compare IUP to other schools, other universities around, uh, it really is a pretty big deal, isn't it? Yeah, well, IUP student population has always been around 15,000. And so when you compare it to some of the other schools, it's, it's right in there. Mm -hmm. um, with that location, I mean, for those of us who have lived around Indiana our whole lives, um, you know that it had gas pumps at one time, but getting in and out of there was sometimes a problem. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when we were looking at creating these cafe stores, it was really a you know, an easy decision to, to make that one. And, you know, we were there this morning and I commented, it, it definitely is a lot easier to get in and out of there without the gas pumps. Oh, and yeah. then, you know, uh, we always look for a lot of pedestrian traffic and mm -hmm. that area of Wayne Avenue next to IUP definitely fits the bill in the same way that the location at Pew Street, State College and uh, 
they call it the corner down there at UVA. Uh-huh. Um, it, it has a lot of pedestrian traffic as well. So that's something that we look at. And it's, uh, I, I think that they call it a sandbox, kind of just kind of experimenting with stores that don't have gasoline. And mm-hmm. I think it's been a good one for them. Well, besides the obvious difference between um, what we consider to be the normal sheets the, being the gas pumps, um, what else is different about a cafe store? Or is there any difference between what they offer and what you get at other sheet stores? When we opened down in Charlottesville at UVA, I was asked that same question. And I I said that, um, you know, obviously when you walk up to these cafe store locations, you won't see gas pumps. When you walk in the door, it's the same sheets experience. And Mm -hmm. so you can get... uh, you can get coffee. You can get donuts. Um, obviously, you know the touchscreen order points. You can get anything and customize it how you want it, when you want it, and um, you know just basically anything that you can do at a regular Sheets location, you can do at these cafe stores. So it's the Sheets experience in a sometimes it's just a little bit of a different environment. Yeah, two to five today. You said two to five. Mm-hmm. Um, you just come down. Uh, we're actually doing something really cool too because it's Halloween. Uh, if people wear a costume while supplies last, we're going to give them a free MTO coupon. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you so go. that's a pretty good deal too. And Cody will give you a ride in the in the Sheets mobile out there. Yeah. Right? We'll get Maybe your picture not in that. Front of it. <laughs> get your picture in front of it. Yeah. Okay, we'll give you that much. Yep. <laughs> we'll give you. We'll, we'll we'll do some pictures. I don't know about the ride part. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's it's one of uh, several locations here in Indiana County. Um, of course, you've got the locations um, at Fourth and Philly, Warren Road. Uh, you also have the Homer City location, the Blairsville location, and uh, just out of Indiana County, the the location over by Vintondale mm-hmm. uh, in Cambria County. Uh, but Sheets has a, a pretty big footprint, not just around the region, but right here in Indiana County. Yeah, a lot of people may, might not know, but the cafe store location's number is 19. And so that was really one of the first locations that, that Sheets put in when you think about, you mm-hmm. know, uh, 19's probably about as low as we go as far as numbers. The store outside our corporate office in Altoona is seven. The one in Hollidaysburg is three. So we've been in Indiana a long time. Yeah. Really appreciate our customers here. And so, you know, that's another reason why we're doing today is because we have such great customers in Indiana. And we know that that store location is a mix of people who are here in the community year round and mm-hmm. students who are here about nine months out of the year. And so I think it's going to be a fun time. So we just welcome everybody to come down and, and say hello. And visit with Nick. But for yeah. folks who don't know, tell them where, you, where you've been in all of these years since, uh, since you left here and you went to Harrisburg. Yeah, initially. so when I left Renda in 2013 as the news director, I went and did PR uh, for the Pennsylvania State House for about uh, five or six members, including the House Majority Leader Dave Reed. And then after that, uh, spent about a year and a half on Capitol Hill doing PR for um, Congressman Glenn Thompson, who represents State College and the whole northern expanse of Pennsylvania all the way to Erie. Um, and then I, uh, I left that position for this one in November of last year and have been here for about a year. A little less travel, but not a whole lot less. <laughs> a lot less travel. So my commute yeah. from working in D.C. to working for Sheets went from three hours one way mm-hmm. and, a, and an hour train ride down to about nine minutes. There you go. So really a blessing. And obviously I'm from Marion Center, so great to be so much closer to family and friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they get to see the grandkids. Huh? How many kids now? We have two kids and one on the way in February. There you go. So yeah, so our kids are, our kids are seven and are well, he, he six and four, but they'll be seven and five in mm-hmm. December, and they're loving it. And, and and they get sheets coupons for Christmas. <laughs> no, that's all they need. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, but yeah, we we like sheets. We're feeling the love. There you go. There you go. He's Nick Ruffner. Cody, thanks for coming in with them. We appreciate that very, very much. Uh, the event today from 2 until 5. Visit with Nick and all the folks uh, from Sheets at the Point. On yeah, come, we, come on we down to... and celebrate Halloween and uh, enjoy some great made-to-order food. We always used to say the Point on Wayne Avenue. You don't hear that phrase around here much anymore. The but T-shirts say it. Do they really? So mm-hmm. the one thing that we're trying to do is, you know, the, these locations have names. And mm-hmm. so, you know, using the T-shirts to, to give them out and, and kind of spread that brand identity throughout the community. And so that's another reason why the event is uh, is so important. Cool. There you go.
All right, boys and girls, you can go visit with Nick and Cody and have some fun at Sheets this afternoon from 2 to 5. 7.55 in the morning, almost four minutes away from 8 o'clock. Fox News coming up next at the top of the hour. Josh Woodison is in the newsroom after that. Our Citizens Ambulance Time Check is brought to you by Citizens Ambulance Service. Time to become a member today. And remember, Pens tomorrow night, they're back on the air on our affiliate station, 92.5 FM U92, powered by the locker room at Diamond Medical Supply, Oakland Avenue in Indiana. 7.56 now, four before the top of the hour.